Continuous effort, not strength or intelligence, is the key to unlocking our potential. Sir Winston Churchill and Mr. Churchill would know. He was the man who said never, 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 ever give up. Shortest college speech, probably on record, and he is exactly right. You will win if you keep charging forward, not knowing the meaning of the word quit. And of course, stay motivated. Be with us every day, 10 to 15 minutes. That's all we ask as we sort through these charts to figure out what's going on in the world, in the markets. We always start with the S&P 500 on the weekly chart. What do we see happening? Well, we're still in a confirmed down move on the weekly chart. We do have a weekly up candle that is forming, a green open box candle, the first that we've seen in four weeks. We still see the price percent oscillator below the red signal line. Derivative oscillator has gone positive. Don't know there's going to be enough movement in the market to cross over going up. We may have another bounce over. Who knows? But it is getting closer again. And we will watch. It's a green open box candle with a wick on top. That portends typically, as far as the Heiken Ashi candlestick goes, strong up movement. But don't have that crossover yet. Not strong enough. Now, we do appear to have what will end up being at the close of the candlestick, which, again, will not happen until the close of the market on Friday. We might have a crossover going up on that two-day chart. Of course, it pushed through in the prior two-day candle, the weekly trend line, and way back many days ago, the two-day trend line, and we see it continuing to move forward. We will, of course, move the two-day crossover over on Friday if where things are right now continue. The derivative oscillators crossed over, which is a good sign for continued movement. If that stays that way at the close of the candle, remember, you never call a candle until the candle closes. And a two-day candle closes the end of two days. That will be Friday. We go from the two-day chart to the four-hour chart. What do we see there? Again, you know, it is pushing higher, a little bit higher, but a lot of it's a sideways slide. Price percent oscillator still moving up, way away from the red signal line. Derivative oscillator is losing upward momentum. So we'll continue to watch, see what there is to see, and if that two-day crossover ends up being confirmed, and then where things go over the course of this next week with the S&P 500. What's going on with the NASDAQ 100? Even closer to crossing over going up, derivative oscillator a little bit bigger than the S&P, a big green up candle, still confirmed down move. Maybe we'll have a crossover at the end of Friday if it's a big day. Wasn't a big day today. Again, the S&P 500 up 0.29%, NASDAQ 100 up 0.26%. We go to the two-day chart, and we have a nice stair step, nice clean trend line moving up, derivative oscillator heading higher, price percent oscillator moving up. Things are looking decent as far as the two-day chart goes. Four-hour chart, again, we see things sort of topping there, moving sideways, trending up. Price percent oscillator, not quite flat. Derivative oscillator still losing momentum as it has since it peaked all the way back on Thursday. I'm sorry, Tuesday afternoon, the 15th. So, Continue to watch, see what there is to see there. How will stocks sort themselves out? Don't know. We'll let the charts lead us, as we always do. Now we'll head on to 20-year bonds. Weekly down again. Well, the daily down, I'm sorry. We have a weekly down candle. Down for the day, 0.24%. Still moving in the direction of that latest jumping in that we had for a practice trade. We have a red down candle. One thing to note is, of course, the bottom wick is nowhere near where the bottom wick was back on the week ending the 13th of September and the 20th of September. But we do see the price percent oscillator pulling away from the red signal line, derivative oscillator gaining downward momentum. That's nice to see. Two-day chart, again, stair steps moving down, price percent oscillator 
gaining downward are pretty much the same as it has been actually. Very little change in that angle. Derivative oscillator gaining downward momentum. Red down candle is going, let's see, the low 139.30, the low in the prior 139.35. So again, a little bit five cents lower, but price continuing to move down, which is good to see. We go to that four hour chart. Of course, we had the jumping in point after the crossover going down back on the 9th, somewhere around that 144 mark, something like that. And again, moving all the way down, do be cautious because we are sort of flooring out there. Now the derivative oscillator still heading down, but again, it's just the four hour chart, but watch it, be cognizant of what's happening. It is the smallest chart we have. So again, as we say, always go back to the two day. It's still nice and strong and the weekly. It's still nice and strong. Just be cognizant of what's happening. You can have a bounce off that floor on the four hour. That's where it all would start. Derivative oscillator losing downward momentum, but that price percent oscillator that had been flat, maybe moving up, is now moving down again. So that's good to see. So again, all the charts, all the time. It has been a good trade so far. Now, back to the weekly chart. We go to gold. Gold up for the day 0.14%. We did draw a gold trend line for the weekly chart. Price movement is below that. Price percent oscillator is pulling away a little bit from the red signal line. Derivative oscillator is gaining downward momentum. We have a red candle that's formed with no wick on top as the two prior weeks had had. But again, it's not a huge candle and we've not seen the wick tap as low as the prior two weeks wicks had tapped. So haven't hit lower lows. Would like to see that. And of course, what do we see happening on the two-day chart? We have a green open box candle with a wick on top that's forming. Look like price movement went right up there to the weekly trend line and did not penetrate. We see that the derivative oscillators lost some momentum on the first day of this latest two-day candle. Price percent oscillator, however, still heading down. Not flat, but still heading down a little bit. We go to that four-hour chart. And of course, it did cross over going up in the morning. And then looks like it, well, let's see, did it reach a higher high in that 141.12? So it reached a little bit of a higher high in the afternoon right there at the two-day and the weekly trend line. So keep that in mind. Again, always be cognizant of the bigger charts Still not super strong on the two-day, but it is headed down. That derivative oscillator's lost some momentum. That weekly is still nice, though, and looks decent, even in light of the fact that we've not hit lower lows. So we'll continue to keep our eye on gold, see what's going on there. Hey, we've got a great new training for you. I've done two new trainings in a row. And I'm proud of this latest one also. It is using indicators to interpret crowd sentiment. Brand new training available if you are a subscriber for free. Go to chartingwealth.com, sign up, put in your name, email address, and you will get every single day the market is open. We'll send you our daily review. And of course, the trainings are always in there for you. That's where you'll get it. Thank you so much, my friends. Appreciate you being with us. Thank you for all the orders for the 13th printing that is at the printer. It should be back to us probably Friday. We will be fulfilling all those orders as soon as the new books get in. If you want to get in line for the new book, go ahead, follow the link in the show notes. If you live overseas, email us, cw at chartingwealth.com. We'll send you a PayPal invoice. Otherwise, if you're in the States, you can pay through Square. Wherever you are, we will send the book to you an autographed copy with a thank you note. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.